In this video, you'll learn about how religion shaped American slavery in early American colonies. We are talking about the 1600s, over a hundred years before the American Revolution. You'll learn about how European Christian ministers believed American planters corrupted Christianity to justify enslaving Africans. Religion was a powerful force in the lives of many early American colonists. For most colonists, the institution of the Christian church organized their lives and shaped how they thought about their world. In the American colonies, Catholics and Protestants struggled with the impulse to teach what they believed was salvation through Christ and their desire to justify their enslavement of Africans. They told themselves it was acceptable to enslave humans if they were heathen, a degrading term for someone who was not of their own religion. Yet at the same time, they blocked the opportunity for enslaved people to learn Christianity. When Christian clergy visited from Europe, they criticized American planters for not teaching Christianity to their enslaved human property. In the 1660s, Reverend Morgan Godwin was one clergyman from the Church of England who visited Virginia. He was appalled that the planters did not allow the people they enslaved to participate in the Christi Christian faith. Godwin believed, like other European clergy, that anyone could be Christian, regardless of origin. He believed that the colonial experience had corrupted the planters' understanding of Christianity. In the New World, Godwin found that planters believed enslaved blacks were inherently incapable of becoming Christian. He published a pamphlet criticizing these views, and as a result, the planters sent him away. American planters crafted these beliefs about the religious capacity of Africans to justify their enslavement and profit from their labor.